Welcome to our demonstration on how to configure the VMware vSphere standard switch. In this demonstration, we will be using vSphere 5.1. We start by logging into the vSphere web client. By default, vSphere hosts use the standard switch configuration. With standard switches, we need to configure networking on each host, as opposed to using a distributed switch configuration, where host networking is centrally configured from the vCenter server. Begin by navigating to the vSphere hosts. Here we have three hosts. We choose the host vSphere 101-3, go to the Manage tab, and select the Networking tab. Here we see the default configuration comprised of a single standard vSwitch, called vSwitch 0, with a management and VM network. We'll start by reviewing the configuration of vSwitch 0. Select vSwitch 0 and edit settings. Here we see the options to change the number of ports and the MTU size. Note that if we change the ports, we will need to reboot for the changes to take effect. Now we go to the security settings, where we configure the promiscuous mode, MAC address changes, and forge transmits. Note that the MAC address changes and forge transmits default to accept. It is recommended to change these settings to reject. The vSphere standard switch optionally allows you to shape outbound traffic. By default, this feature is disabled. Next, we go to the teaming and failover tab. Here, we see that load balancing is set to route based on the originating virtual port. We can also see an active and a standby adapter. We will make both adapters active by selecting the standby adapter and clicking the up arrow. The physical adapters will now show both VMNIC0 and VMNIC2 as active. That completes our review of the vSwitch0 configuration. Next, we will add two additional virtual adapters, one to support vMotion traffic and one for NFS traffic. Start by selecting virtual adapters. Here we see the existing VMK0 adapter, which is used for the management network. We'll now create a VMK1 virtual adapter to be used for vMotion. Select the Add Host Networking icon, and then select the VM Kernel Network Adapter Type, which is required for vMotion traffic. Click Next. Now, we will need to select the vSwitch, where we will add the vMotion adapter. As we only have one switch in our configuration, we'll select it, and click Next. Name the virtual network adapter as vMotion, and if necessary, provide a VLAN ID. Be sure to select the checkbox to enable vMotion traffic for this adapter, and click Next. Select the Use Static IPv4 Settings option, provide a valid IPv4 address and subnet mask, review the settings, and click Finish. Monitor the Recent Tasks column, and verify that the VMK1 adapter is added and vMotion traffic is enabled. Now, we will repeat these steps to add a third virtual adapter, VMK2, to be used for the NFS traffic. Click the Add Networking icon and select VM Kernel Network Adapter Type and select vSwitch0. Enter NFS 10G as network label and, if necessary, set the VLAN ID. Note that in the case of NFS, there is not a specific service type that must be enabled. Click Next. Select the Use Static IPv4 Settings option, enter the IPv4 address and subnet mask, review the settings, and click Finish. This completes the vSwitch configuration. Because we are using a standard switch, we will now need to repeat these configuration changes on the other hosts in the cluster. This concludes our demonstration on how to configure basic networking for a vSphere host using the VMware vSphere standard switch. Thank you.